Hi guys, welcome to my watercolour channel. I'm Karen Rice. This tutorial is all about painting abstracts in watercolour. It's a fun tutorial suitable for all levels. Let's get started. For a full list of all the materials I'm going to be using in this demonstration with the colours that I use and some alternatives, please see the description below. So I've drawn my picture and as I say, this is available on the Patreon membership, a downloadable sketch of this particular drawing. I've drawn it with an HB pencil. I'm using cold press paper. 300 grams and I've put some framing tape around the edge. I've wet certain parts of the paper and I'm just applying some yellow, orange, quinacridone gold and opera rose onto the paper using a, just an ordinary plastic card cut up. And just looking at the photograph, I'm just putting these colours where I see them in the photograph. I'm not trying to copy it. I'm just trying to interpret it and have some fun. If you notice, I've got different size cards cut up. I'm also going to be using my palette knife and some areas are going to be wet on dry. Other areas are going to be wet on wet. The most important thing is I'm going to have some fun. used a large flat one inch brush and I've just wet the sky area. It's night time so I'm actually applying some indigo mixed with a touch of pink with my palette knife so it's kind of wet into wet so it creates nice and soft and as I go towards the horizon I'll lighten that up a bit. I'm just now applying the dark areas to the painting here and there some wet on dry and again some wet into wet getting those lovely abstract dark marks here and there. As you saw there, I applied the dark paint, wet on dry in the pavement area. I'm tilting now and spritzing. So it really creates quite an atmospheric effect, like wet pavements as well. I've allowed my painting to dry off and I'm actually painting some details now with my size four brush using the indigo, a little bit of reds here and there, a little bit of pinks and oranges, wet on dry, just to get the detail of the people in the sort of middle distance there with their umbrellas, just creating a little bit of interest.
there I put some shadow under their feet as well and I'm just building up some shadows now in the buildings as well keeping it very abstract still be careful not to lose your light I'm using my palette knife as well to apply some of the darks as well sort of damp into damp or you could do this wet on dry as well just sort of describing sort of windows and edges of buildings colourful this painting and for a bit of fun I've squeezed out some white gouache my painting has dried I'm just using the bottom of a tube of paint to apply the white just giving some highlights here and there really to give it a little bit of sparkle and some definition One of the dangers of watercolour painting is overworking your painting. So I always find it very useful to spatter my painting. So I'm spattering some white and some yellow mixed with white here. So it creates the look of all that sort of street lights um, in the distance there. And it also stops me from overworking my painting. I've just got out my box of pastels. These are soft pastels, just like chalks, posh chalks. And I'm just putting a few little sort of lights here and there using yellows and oranges and soft violets. And this is all, the painting is dry. So this is dry on dry, if that makes any sense. But it's just to finish off um, this painting, um, this sort of abstract with the pastels, a little bit of mixed media. And you can also use oil pastels to do this as well. But I'm just trying to accentuate the colours that I've already got with the watercolours. But if you've lost your light, these are really handy to have on standby. And as you can see, they're quite opaque. So you really do get the light back, especially using the lighter coloured pastels. So this is my finished painting. And I put a little mount around it as well to L shapes, just to kind of sort of give it sort of a frame around it to, get, to give me a chance to see if I need to do any work to it. I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial with all the sort of mixed media techniques, the palette knife, the spattering and just applying paint, watercolour paint in such a different way. So I really hope this inspires you to create your own watercolour abstracts. If you have any questions please put them in the comments section below and if you'd like to see more content like this don't forget to subscribe to my channel where you'll get updates of my latest tutorials and if you'd like to learn more about watercolour and get access to my exclusive videos why not think about joining my Patreon membership. Details about the membership can be found in the description below. Thank you so much much for watching. Bye for now.